Hello YouTube, how are you doing? Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, um, whatever else you can think of. I hope that the season's treating you well, as always, and today I decided to do something fun for the season. Um, my previous looks have been featuring metallics and neutral colors. One is the simple, fast, natural version. The other is the more sexy, sophisticated, um, smoky version. So with this look, I really wanted to go back to my roots and play with color, um, especially because I curled my hair for the first time ever since I did the shave. I um, wanted to just have a little bit of fun. So we have very, very prominent red tones um, and purple tones within the makeup. If you have blue eyes or green eyes, this is going to look fantastic on you because you're using complementary colors to bring out your natural features. Um, so yes, if you'd like to learn how to get this look, please keep watching and I'll show you how. Okay, so we are going to just get the tutorial started. I already moisturized my face. Um, I already primed my eye using Urban Decay's primer potion all the way from the lash line to the brow bone, from the inner corner to the outer corner. Next, I'm going to be taking um, Makeup Forever Professional Flash Color um, number 18. It's a really nice red undertone, mauvey purple. And we are just going to apply this on the entire lid blending it out towards the crease using your finger so just a nice even thin layer so once you're done applying your base i'm just going to be taking a reddish burgundy again we are sticking to more so natural tones but with a little bit of fun because of their undertones so it is still sophisticated, but you can apply it. So just using a MAC 217 brush, I'm going to pat this on my lid. So we get that really nice, intense color concentration. So just all over. And then just blend it out towards your crease. But not too much out, because we're going to put a secondary color there. Once you're done blending out that burgundy, um, you can take it as wide as you want with the um, layering of the colors I'm going to be doing and applying. Um, it's more so of a horizontal stacking. Um, but again, a customize this look to your um, features, to your size of eyes or face or whatever you want to focus on. Anyways, um, we're going to take Nocturnal. Really pretty um, purple, but again, it has that nice reddish undertone to it. Um, and we're just going to use this to fade out the burgundy, so throw this in your crease. Taking Naked Lunch, a very nice pinky undertone, and directly on that line where the purple ends and your skin begins, just apply it directly on top. Um, and that way you blend out any harsh lines and make it look a little bit more natural as natural as purple eyeshadow can get and I'm going to take my brush I'm going to take a sparkly black this is Makeup Forever Professional and I'm just going to throw this in my crease how we took the purple the whole way the black is just going to be concentrated on the outer portion I'm not doing too much of a concentrated black. Um, with the reds and with the purples, I want it to be more so of like a plummy color. But again, if you want like wicked super black smoky eye, knock yourself out. There are no rules. So once you're done uh, applying your black to the intensity that you want, um, just take a black eyeliner pencil. This is Urban Decay Zero. And line your upper lash line. 
Once you're done doing that, just take that black eyeshadow once again, and we are going to set this with an angled brush. And start smudging it out. As always, I'm going to start building my wing. Just making sure that you have no skips. I just really want to intensify the structure of this look. So by having a smudgy black and then um, a nice concrete defined line, that just really emphasizes it. Alright, so once you clean up your fallout, do your face makeup as you please. Um, again, this look is a little bit more dramatic, I like to do a little bit more drag inspired makeup. So the contour is a little bit um, heavier, uh, the blush is actually an eyeshadow, it's just a really awesome peachy kind of apricot tone. Um, normally I would do my eyebrows pink, however, um, because this look is so busy, especially with the lashes added, I'm just going to not do too much to the brows. I'm just going to extend the line so again you're elongating that eye, um, providing that shape for them so that the look isn't lost. You, you know your dimensions within the face. So I don't have um, the pencil that I want because I left a lot of my makeup in Montreal. I'm just going to take my said Lancome lip liner and use it as an eyeliner because I'm awesome that way. I just want that red undertone as a base. Technically I could use the cream shadow. Um, as my base for this. Um, I think it'll be a little bit too messy, however, hence why I'm doing this. But you're just going to take <clears throat> an angled brush. I'm using the same one that I smudged out my black with. Um, and then that kind of burgundy reddish color. Actually, no. We're going to do something different. Mm. We're going to take cranberry, I believe it's called. That color right there. And just right along the lash line, pop this. Highlight because we used a nice pink, there's a lot of reds, a lot of um, red undertone purples. My hair is also like completely crazy right now. Um, so for the highlight, instead of doing a white like always, um, or a yellow, I'm going to do the Bare Minerals Glisten. Um, just want to do something a little bit different. Just like so, this did the, the tiniest smidge of a touch. Um, and I'm just taking that same angled brush. I'm just going to carry it a little bit more in a V shape. I'm just going to tight line my upper and lower waterline with the black pencil that we used earlier. This is going to hide your lashes, like the band of your lashes, a lot better. It's definitely making it a little bit more sultry and sexy and smoky. And it does change your shape because it closes your eye, but we widened it. Um, so yeah, that's your face right there. I'm going to do my hair, and this is just chapstick because my teeth got insanely... Um, when I said my teeth, my lips got very dry when I had this strip on. So this is not the lip color. This is just for hydration purposes. This is the finished look. I have never curled my hair ever since I shaved off the other half. So it's been at least since August that I've curled my hair. And I freshly dyed my hair today. Um, the pinks were fading a little bit too much for my liking. So the fact that you can see all of the magenta and all of the bubble gum and then all of like the cotton candy I think is really cool. Um, to tie uh, the look together, just to finish it up, I did a gloss on the lips. If you want to do a lipstick, go right ahead. If you really are feeling bold and daring um, and you have a natural hair color, 
dark lips with this look would be absolutely stunning. Um, it definitely takes courage to pull it off, but I mean, once you do pull it off, it just, it looks phenomenal. However, my hair is not a normal color right now, and with the rest of my makeup going on, I just wanted to tie the whole look together. So make your lips look a little bit fuller and healthier, but nothing too crazy. So this is the Vinyl Bronze from Rimmel. Mirror Shine Lip Gloss number 99 Sunset. It's a very peachy coral pink. Actually, there's no pink here, it's just an orangey coral. Um, so it is complementing the radiant bronzy skin. Um, it's picking up that orangey blush. It is complementing all the rustic reds within our eyes. So it's not competing, it's just, again, kind of shaping and forming the look and tying it together. Anyways, I hope you had fun with this tutorial and that you learned a few things. Um, please leave me comments and subscribe, it's always greatly appreciated, and I will talk to you guys later. Happy holidays!